Hi, my name is Robert Rusiniello. Today we're going to be reviewing the Business Insights module, namely the Business Insights Explorer views. We're going to create a couple of graphs, uh, some neat things we can do. We're going to create a top 10 customer sales graph and a top 10 item sales graph. We're also going to take a tour around Business Insights Explorer and just see what it's all about. Now Business Insights Explore is a tab in the Business Insights module and when you open it you're gonna find that you have multiple views. Now in our system we have all of the distribution modules, we have all of the core modules so we're gonna find different views for different modules all housed in this one section. These three views all are related to the general ledger module. We have some views related to AR, AP, inventory, SO, purchase order, RMA, and bill of materials. Now, of course, you'll only have views related to the modules that you own. Now, another way you can access these views is also to go into the module. In this case, let's go to the GL module. You're going to find an Explorer tab. And you're going to find the three views that relate specifically to GL information. Now we're actually going to access our views using the Business Insights module and the Explorer folder. And we're going to create a couple of graphs, um, some neat graphs that you can certainly use uh, over and over. They're going to be the customer sale, top 10 customer sales graph and the top 10 item sales graph. Now each of these views have information related to that module. I can choose to create these two graphs using AR customer invoice information or item transaction history information. Today we're going to do these two graphs using the item transactions view. So let's jump on in there. When I open up the item transactions view in Business Insights Explorer I'm first housed with a screen that shows me item transaction history. This is essentially information that I'll find in my transactions history table in mass. But I can access it without having to do a database query or a crystal report. Our preview section allows me the ability to control what additional information I want to see on the bottom pane. Right now we're highlighted, we've highlighted the 1001 HON H252 item and down below we have information related to that item. Same type of information that you would find in your CI underscore item table or that you would find in item maintenance. If I select the item vendors button you'll see that my bottom pane has changed. Still related to this item number up top I now see the different vendors that I have set up associated with this item. Now as we go down below our preview pane we see a couple of buttons, one for explore, one for task. If we click on the explorer button it changes our navigation pane to allow us to drill into some other sections, namely an items view and an items vendor view. If we click on the item view and we hit standard, 
we've now changed our top pane since we had highlighted the 1001 HON H252 it's now filtered for that item I'm going to take out that filter and you're going to see that my top pane is now switched from an item transactions view to essentially an item view again similar to what you would find in item maintenance I'm going to scroll backwards using the back button it's going to say my settings have changed do I want to save them I'm going to say no and you'll see that we're right back to where we started from in the item transactions table a couple of other things you can do in this area is this is an item transactions view if we wanted to group our transactions by item code we can simply hover over that column pull it up top here and we've now created a group now the nice thing that Business Insights will allow us to do with groups is as we scroll down we now have different groups for different items we can highlight and we can start adding some group summaries now group summaries allow us to take columns of data and total them. So here we now have a summary for the quantity column. We can also add a summary for the extension column. We can group essentially using multiple columns. We can also filter our information. If we only wanted to see transactions that happened in 2010, we can use a filter to filter by specific date. Or we could say we want to see transactions that are less than or equal to 1231 2010 and then are greater than or equal to 1 1 2010 and our view is now filtered accordingly and you'll notice there's a blue down arrow that indicates that this column has a filter on it so next time we come in we'll know it's filtered as well as we can look at the bottom pane or I'm sorry our bottom row here and understand that our view is filtered this way